Hi everyone, I have created this heightened effector that allows you to create this kind of uh, flashing lights automatically without the need for any keyframes and it's also fully adjustable. You can change the speed so I can make it go faster or slower okay, and I can also change the size of the gap between the lights so if I want less lights I can just increase it or I can decrease it and then make it just flash back and forth. So all this will be done without keyframes. And I'm sharing this effector setup for free. You just need to head over to my coffee page. I will share the link in the description below. So this is the page. You can just go and find the light string effector right here. Click on it. Then just press on the get now button and download it and then you can open up the file and use it in your own projects. So let me show you how to use it. So when you open up the file, what you will see is this setup over here. It is just a signboard frame and a bunch of lights that are being cloned on it. So how these lights are being cloned is actually on a spline. So let me just turn off the sweep for the frame and you can see this is the spline that we have used to clone the lights onto it. As for the lights, they are actually just made of two uh, spheres. Let me just open it up. So they are the same spheres except that they have different material. So there is one that it will act as the light bulb that is on. That one has a white material. And then another one that is off. And then that one has a black material. So if you want to use your own objects, you just need to replace the objects inside this null object. So the uh, object that will go into the off state will be at the top and the one that will be on is the one below. So do not change this order because this is how I've used to code the uh, effector. You just need to replace the bulbs inside and then it should work already. The animation is mainly controlled by this light string effector and this is a Python effector which I have written some code. So if you're interested, you can just you know take a look at the code you can see it's not very difficult. There's just uh, about 40 lines or so only. So it's mainly driving this uh, effect of the lights that is flashing around the spline. So let's take a look at the controls. On the Python effector, I have created three controls over here that will allow you to control the look of this animation. The first one is the direction. As you can see, the lights are flashing in a clockwise direction. If you take a look at the controls, we have the direction and currently it is set to backwards. So actually this is the clockwise direction. You can also switch it to forwards direction. So it will just be in the opposite direction. So in this case, it's the counterclockwise direction. Then later on, we have the speed. So the lights are flashing at a certain speed. If you need them to go faster, you can just increase the number. So you can make it go really fast if you want. but I think if you move it too fast, then you know, I don't think it will look very nice. But yeah, you can do that if you want. You can also go really slow, like maybe decrease the speed such that it just flashes at a very slow rate. So personally, I like it at number five. So I'll just leave it as this for now. Then the next one is the gap size. You can see that there are only certain number of light bulbs that are lit up. And these bulbs, they have a certain gap between them. If I make the gap size larger, then we have lesser of the lit bulbs. Okay? And you can see they are really far apart. So you can go even higher if you want, then they get really, really far away. Okay? In this case, now we have only two running. Okay? If you want it to look like an alternating pattern, so it's like flashing back and forth, then the gap size can be at two. Then it'll just look like they are flashing back and forth. Right, so this is all the controls that I have created for this effect. Uh, but with this, you can create quite a number of different looks already. So we're back in this first example file. And I just want to show that you can create your own spline to clone the, these light bulbs onto. And I'm just going to pull back first. And let's pause this animation. I'm going to take my spline pen and just draw a spline, any random spline. Okay, let's say something like this. Right, so this is our spline that we have and I'm just going to uh, make a copy of this cloner 
and this one maybe I will call it a string and I can just take my newly created spline and I place it inside here and we get this string of lights as well so I'm just going to increase the number of count so we have a lot of bumps on our spline here and I'm just going to press play and you can see it's really easy to create your own lights over here so let me just increase the gap size and you can create yeah a lot of lights here okay, and then maybe I make the speed go faster okay, I'm going to create a few more to make it more interesting so I can also create like a helix and maybe I make it smaller let me pause the animation first move it off to the side and again I'm going to duplicate this cloner and this time I will call this a tree and I'm just taking the helix placing it over there we also have our lights on the trees right so it's very easy to make a different light animation on this that's all I will share over here so like I mentioned you can just download this uh, setup for free okay, and use your own project hopefully you can create some nice Christmas animation so if you do uh, create something with it I would like to see it yeah just uh, feel free to message me on Instagram and share with me what you have created All right so until then then I will see you in the next video then bye bye